Hey, I wanted to come on and talk about um, kind of like going from just surviving to thriving, how you can start to do that now. But also, uh, I just saw a quote that was so good by Oscar Wilde. Um, and it's, it's such a great quote. The quote is, to live is the rarest thing in the world. Most people exist. That is all. And that is so true. Um, that is so true. And we can say it is because of the, you know, what's going on in the world or because of all the things. You have so many things going on. You don't have the money to do things. And there's always reasons why, right? There's always reasons why we can't do something. You know, we're not taking those chances. And it's it's just, I've, oh, I thought like years ago, that's when I decided I'm going to live my life kind of backwards. I'm going to do all the things I want to do make decisions, make choices so that I can do a lot of these things when I'm young so that I don't have to wait until I'm retired or older. And the thing is, most people will say, well, you did that lucky you, but I could not have done that. And there, yes, you could have because I did it. <laughs> I think we forget that it's all, we make choices, right? We make choices and the choices lead us in a certain direction. The way we think leads us in a certain direction. The habits we have, the things we do. <clears throat> so we all have choices. We all are making decisions and making choices every day, every moment that lead us down a certain path. So you need, this is why being conscious and being aware and choosing, like really being in the art of choosing. And now if you're in a situation where you're like, well, there's, what can I do now? I have to have this full-time job. I have to have this house and I need, it's all like, cause it is inflation is crazy. The thing is, it's not no change or big change. And I think that's a lot of people I don't have or whatever. I can't make that change. I can't all of a sudden be here. I have all these things going on in my life now, responsibilities or whatever. Yes, everybody has stuff. But it's what you do with the moment, the decisions you make next, the emotions you have next, the way you respond, the way you react to things now determined how that's going to go in the future. So you can decide now, well, I am working on making changes in my life. How do I want my life to be? What would I like to experience? And of course, those nagging thoughts, those limiting beliefs, those ways I can't do this is going to go in, is going to come. Because we're used to hearing that, especially from other people. <clears throat> we were raised like that, especially if you're over 50. Uh, don't be so crazy. You need to be safe. You need to be do that. Do this. Don't make change. And But if we want change now, we can have change now. <clears throat> it all starts within. So it's like, that's why I'm doing, I did the seven-day morning practice thing. That's a great place to start. There was always a way you can start now being a little different, thinking a little different, taking different um, actions, making different things different for you, right? You can start right now. And and so the morning practice that I started, the morning practice, the morning ritual thing, it was all about being more conscious and mindful and taking time in the morning to connect to you. And the quote, that, like that quote, to live is the rarest thing in the world. Most people exist and that is all. I think most people, that's Oscar Wilde, most people do that because they're living on autopilot. They are choosing just to exist, just to get by, just to survive. That's a choice. That And that, I hope that, that's going to trigger some people, but it is really a choice. But I want you to really know your power, that you have the power to change this. And it happens by little changes, little changes every day. And it can seem like, well, there's no way that I could make a change that I want. It's going to be so much, I might as well just give up. And sometimes I think that because you cannot see how it's possible to make that happen, to have it happen. And so this is, of course, where the laws of the universe, the law of manifestation and all of those things, the law of attraction comes in. And when you do a morning ritual in the morning, it's also about tapping into that, right? Knowing what you desire. So all successful people, and anytime you want to achieve something, it's everybody's like, where are you now? What do you desire? What do you want? What do you want to create? You must know that first. But here's the thing. You can know, but you can change it. You also may not... Um, you can only imagine yourself being at a certain level, 
right? But who knows, in the future, you can make it all the way up here if you just continue, continue, continue. But we can't even imagine that that could be possible right now. So we tend to make steps that are, you know, what we can see, what we believe, which is okay too, but don't limit that, right? Like say, right now, I am choosing or desiring or wanting this in my life. Without saying, but I just, there's no possible way. I can't see it. There's no way, right? Stop that. Just say, what would I love? What would I really desire? So for me, it's to live in a warm climate during the winter. I'd love to go to Mexico. Um, just, I've traveled a lot. Like I've traveled all, all, all over. So I'm just picking Mexico now. I would love to live in the winter in Mexico. I'd love to have a camper van for the summer. So these are some things that I'm choosing, right? That truly, truly what I really, really want though. <laughs> it is what I want. But right at the moment, I'm saying I don't know how that could be possible, but I'm not going to stop wanting it then because that is like the quote. Most people exist and that is all because they don't allow themselves to believe or think that they could attain more. You want to say, I'm choosing this. I'm choosing this. That's where to start, right, is I'm choosing this. And then, so when you know, when you tap into yourself, when you allow yourself time to vision, to dream, to imagine, to work on you, to get to a calm, peaceful, grounded feeling in the morning, like we're talking about morning practices, and just be there in that state and start to say, you know what? I'm grateful for the way my life is right now. I am truly grateful. But I also desire this. We get to have those things. There are people that are doing that, living that, having that right now. There are people that have overcome extremely hard circumstances, way worse than you've ever been through, and have achieved certain levels of success, right? So they chose, but it was like a choice, a choice, a choice, a choice, a decision, a decision, taking different action, having new beliefs, all of those things. But if you don't start those changes, if you are not conscious or are not mindful of how you are reacting, how you are responding, are you changing? Are you choosing? Are you choosing? Or are you just reacting, just living, just existing, just getting by, watching, numbing yourself? Because that is not going to work. That is not going to get you anywhere different. Anywhere different. So tomorrow at uh, 4 o'clock, I'm doing a live video in Women Living Boldly 50, 50 Plus. I might share it here too. It might start on my... I'm not sure. And it is... Um, a bonus call to the seven day morning ritual. And it's really about how powerful starting making those changes and starting to believe in yourself again and starting to open up to possibilities, starting to say, you know, really get into what you desire now, how you can start that easily and right now in a morning practice, but also how you can begin to bring that into your day, how you can begin to make changes small little changes and grow and change as you work your way towards what you desire. Because that's the way to live. That's a way to experience life. And it's also about experiencing your life. Experiencing the moments. Being mindful. Being conscious. Being grateful. See what's going on. Notice what's going around you. Open to possibilities. Seeing the possibilities. Taking the opportunities. Expanding your horizon. Expanding your energy. Um, all of those things that lead you to really starting to experience life, which is really living life. You don't have to travel. You don't have to completely change your life to change how you experience life. You get to start experiencing life different really fast. Okay. But you need to <laughs> start making those changes. And that's what I love helping women with. This is really, a, because this is what I have done in my life. This is what I've overcome. And this is, I've come from being a very person who hated everything. I know, hard to believe. <laughs> hated everything, was always down, was always quite negative. Never liked where I was. The grass is always green on the other side. Always thought anything would be better than where I was in the moment. And so that's not really living. That was never really truly living and experiencing and loving my life, right? So anyways... Um, but yeah, so the video is tomorrow. If you want more information or want to know the link to the group, let me know below. But also, I hope this helped you in some way, encouraged you and got you back into the belief that, you know what? I am going to start to live my life. I'm going to start to experience something new. I am going to make little changes. I'm going to start thinking about me. I'm going to start taking time for me. I'm going to start in the morning 
you know, there's many morning practices. You can go into my group, Women Living Boldly 50 Plus. All the seven videos are still up there and they'll give you some amazing ideas of how you can start these morning rituals. All right. So much love to you. Bye.